What's that? What's that? Penny! Penny, the Reavers! We gotta go! Penny, we gotta what? get out of here! The Reavers, Penny! The Reavers! They're attacking! They're destroying the base! We gotta get out of here! Cat, what are you talking about? Oh my god, I don't have time for this. Where's my gun? There's my gun. Penny, we got- They're destroying the base, Penny! There's Reavers attacking! They're wrecking everything! It's exploding! No, the base is fine. Fine! You must have been dreaming. Dreaming? No, the Reavers! It's... It is fine. It is fine. Everything is fine. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's fine. A dream. It was all a dream. We're fine. As you can see, we are no longer dying. We're no longer under attack from a reaver. I asked at the end of the episode what we should do, and to the overwhelming majority of you guys, uh, we're like, Cap, just roll it back. Okay, I hate to see your work destroyed. Just roll it back, and I, uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I appreciate it a lot. I put a lot of work into this world, and I don't want to see it destroyed either. Oh, is this one of the ones that's just gonna fly away as soon as I get close? It is. Okay. We gotta catch it. Uh, I, I appreciate that from everybody involved, and, uh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you were okay with it. Carpet welder. Uh, cause that is what I wanted to do as well. Um, I have actually come to the realization that I am not a fighter, I am a builder, and that just isn't fun to me. Uh, to fight like that. I don't want to just turtle around. That's boring. Uh, that's just not interesting to me. Instead, I would rather build a really cool looking structures and uh, not have them destroyed the first time something looks at them. So, I have disabled the Reavers. I have added a couple of other modular encounters, uh, though, to hopefully compensate. Uh, just not as aggressive and nasty as the Reavers are. Even though the Reavers are out of the picture, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods, uh, so to speak, as far as, like, defenses are concerned. They're still threats. Uh, okay, they're just not Reaver-level threats. Okay, I can't- I can't do ladders for some reason. I- I'm, I'm a little confused. There we go. Um, so today, I think let's build some better defenses for this tower. Um, we'll have to- We'll make some stronger defenses going on. Because right now we've just got the one Gatling gun. And it's over there destroying our... Our zombies? Wait a minute. Those don't look like zombies. Oh, they're not zombies. Oh, they're deer. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have changed the zombies to deer. Apparently. That was not intentional. I wonder if they're aggressive. I wonder if they're angry deer. Are they deer? Oh, look at this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they're just babies too. Okay, we need... Maybe we need to not have deer. Pretend like they're zombies. Uh, we'll turn them back into zombies when I restart the world. That's an accident.
All right, we got guns. I like that. Uh, hopefully now we can defend ourselves a little bit better. Let's make sure we've got ammo in the guns. So magnesium mine Gatling turret. Let's look in the inventory maybe. We search for Gatling. Yeah, no ammo here. There. These are in the wasp. Okay, so two of the guns don't have any ammo. Maybe we should produce some. Let's, let's make a hundred. Do we have enough magnesium for that? Let's see. Let's search for magnesium. Whoops. Hide empty. Five in the assembler, though. Uh, no, that's all we have. Okay, so we need some magnesium for sure. Well, that is what the mine is for, I suppose. Let's go check the progress of it. Now, I still am manually controlling this mine. So we're just hitting the button and letting it rock. Uh, maybe we'd look in with spectator cam and see how close it is to being finished. It's very hard uh, to tell. I mean, I suppose I could climb down there. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty deep hole, right? I mean, we're definitely making progress. Okay, maybe this is cheating to look from underground like this, but uh, I don't think it's cheating. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> we're just, uh, you know, we don't have any kind of like depth meter or anything. I mean, we could we could plan some bunch of GPSs and stuff, but that would just that would just take a long time. So here's our magnesium deposit. There's the drills. We still got a little ways to go. Oh, good. The guns are shooting. Let's see if we can find what they were shooting at. Uh, we should have zombies now instead of the deer. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. It's a wolf. No, it's a horse? What is happening? Okay, we're just shooting furry woodland creatures now. I don't know what's happening. I'm a monster. That's <laughs> that's just what's going on, I guess. discovered a new faction the 651 AMS Baldrin Aaron heavy something or other uh, looks like they're not coming toward us though hmm, okay I removed that Gatling gun and added a spotlight up there so we could illuminate this cargo platform but now I'm thinking we're gonna need a dock for these B drones um, at each of these mining outpost maybe instead of having a gatling gun there that's where we put the dock for this we'll just extend it out okay we'll just extend it out a little bit on a couple of pipes maybe even from right from that connector or from that junction extend it out a little ways we can put a spotlight that points straight down on the end of that uh to illuminate this area that would give us a dock for this guy and leave us enough clearance that we can put in our uh, cargo transfer thing when we make that. Okay, I think we'll do that. I think that's a good idea.
Oh, we're under attack. Okay, there's a sparrow. I think it's Rex. Oh, there's an observer station over there. Okay, so that's that's going to be a problem. Is it getting cold in here? That's going to be a problem eventually. We're going to have to deal with that soon. But I think let's finish this construction first. We're about to add a bunch of turrets anyway. Oh man, another one incoming already. Leading rival this time. Okay, well, we better get these guns up. Oh no! Another one. Lots of firepower happening though, that's good. But, uh, there goes our wasp. So I guess we'll have to make a new wasp. Dang it, man. We might be able to repair that one. Okay, that's done. time to, I guess next we need to repair the wasp and then we should go check out that observer base that's over there. It keeps sending freaking drones at us. Okay, I think that's the last of the repairs to the base. Uh, we're missing a production module. I don't remember which one it is though, so I'm not super concerned about it. We need to fix the wasp so that so we can go assault that base, though. Um, I think the wasp is the right ship for that. Um, we're I think we're prepared, at least as far as the ship is. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see how bad this damage is. If we hop in, let's turn on the battery. Okay, I mean, it boots up. That's good. It does fly. We can still turn. Uh, we are missing a couple of pieces. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, it looks like it's just a Gatling gun and some broken stuff. Really, I, th I think it is just the one Gatling gun that's missing. Okay, these repairs won't take that long. Let's get some repairs going. We got to fix this Gatling gun and this Gatling gun. And just a couple of other things. They're shooting horses again. A couple of other things on this side. Like here's a thruster that's damaged. Uh, how's this hinge? I think the hinge is actually okay. 
All right, not too bad. We can do these repairs pretty easily. Okay, nice. Uh, I don't see any sparks going on. Everything appears to be intact. Let's see if we see any red in the menu. Uh, there is a damaged spotlight. Okay, let's fix the spotlight, I guess. Which one is it? That one. I think let's do one more thing. Let's add a projector on the on the uh, on the ship somewhere that can contain a blueprint of the ship itself. I think that seems like a protected spot. That way. Um, we can, you know, blueprint our own ship and uh, kind of self-repair if we lose components. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, we just need to restock, rearm, and refuel. And then we'll be on our way to, uh, to assault. To assault this base. Let's see if this dock gives us enough room. I think it should. Oh yeah, this will be plenty of room. Okay, it's it's uh it's nighttime up above. It's too late to go assault that base. Uh, too late in the day. We'll do it in the morning. But I I wanted to show you that I found a trick to get down to the magnesium mine much faster. All I gotta do is turn my jetpack. Uh, since I don't have like my jetpack isn't strong enough to overcome the gravity of the planet, I just fall down the tunnel and. Uh, <laughs> It hurts a little bit, but not a lot, and it's so much faster than just running down on my own. Maybe while we're waiting for daytime, let's collect some of this scrap and check out these uh, these drones we shot down. If there's anything left of them. Um, yeah, I mean, thruster components, you know, like, we've got metal grids here. It's not a lot, but there's a little bit of cobalt in these. And uh, for us right now, cobalt is pretty hard to come by. So we'll, yeah, we'll take some of this scrap. The sun's starting to come up, so I think it's time to begin our assault. Let's pull the wasp down. I think we can, let's see, how do we want to, how do we do this? Uh, we need to turn on some antennas. We need to turn on the magnesium mines antenna and the wasp antenna. Uh, the wasp now, we want to find the remote for it. And control this. We'll need to add a couple of things to our hot bar. Really, we just need this one, right? Push lock. slowly drop down our altitude until we hit the ground. Okay. I think I hit myself. Fuel critical. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. Now I've got the guns configured so that the top guns, the front, the front guns, oh, of course it's foggy. <laughs> Uh, the front guns are set to target offensive things, so I'm assuming that's like weapons. And then the uh, rear guns just target whatever. So, they have a range of a kilometer of a thousand meters. Dude, I can't see anything. And the waypoint's gone. Uh, mm, maybe we wait for the fog to lift? Man, we just keep getting thwarted. I just want to go fight something. And we've just got no, like, opportunities at all. Ah. Uh, ah, this game just throws curve after curve. Okay, well, we got 45 minutes of battery time. Let's sit. Let's just wait for a little bit. Maybe we can get at least the, um, at least the antenna at that base to start broadcasting again. Okay, good. It's cleared up. That only took, I don't know. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, but we should be fine. I can see the antenna is broadcasting. I don't see the 
station yet. I have no idea what this station looks like or how big it is. Uh, so we're going to kind of take it slow. We don't, it doesn't look very big from here. Let me double check the range on our guns. So our Gatling turrets, they are not on the max radius. Okay, so we're going to kind of skirt around to the side. Skirt to the left. Let's see, we don't, we don't have very good uh, strafing thrust. Okay. A thousand meters. That's our engagement range. Uh, it doesn't look very big from here. Certainly no reverb. We can at least take out the antenna. That's all I'm really after. If I start shooting now, can I actually hit it? Oh, it's shooting me, but I'm shooting it too. Oh, I got something. Okay. It's not shooting anymore. Did we do it? Was that it? I think that was it. Okay. Yeah, it's not shooting. All right, let's see what's going on with this thing. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, what a cute little base. Let's turn the turrets off. I think we killed it. Okay, let's try and land. Conserve our fuel. I want to check this place out. Turn off our thrusters for now. Uh, let's, uh, no, we got a day worth of charge. Let's leave the battery on in case we need to make a quick escape. Okay, there might be an interior turret here. There is a cargo container. Access denied. I can't open the door for sure. Let's see what's inside, though, if we can get in. I didn't really bring any components to break things down and build them back up, so... Okay. There's cargo. Ah, uh, here's a locker. Okay, we can look in the locker. And can we see any inventories other than the army locker? No, just the locker. There are two programmable blocks and a pile of seat. And that's it? That's all this station has. Okay, I'm kind of curious to see what's in here. So I'm going to grind this down. Grab the materials and yeah, okay. So we'll come back with the stuff we need to repair that. I want to see if it's got any loot in it. Man, this ship is awesome. Uh, that performed really well. I wonder if we could take out that other assertive installation that we've had on our HUD forever. Mostly I just want to get it off my HUD. Um, the one we assaulted with the tank and got completely decimated. I think with a flying vehicle, life would just be so much easier. Uh, for sure assaulting a, a base would be because we can keep it at our max range uh, a little bit more conveniently okay uh this is interesting on my hud i have never noticed this stuff before this must be new i did add weapon core so that must be part of that maybe i guess i don't know Good to know, though. I don't know what any of those numbers mean. I have no reference to any of them. Um, so... Okay. Okay, we'll just land here. Let's turn off the thrusters. Fuel I want to conserve our power as best we can. Okay. And... Mark our container. What's our loot? Nothing? We got nothing. Nothing from this. Well, we got it to stop sending drones. That's what we got. And that is a victory in my book. Well, it's that time once again. That's all we've got for today. Thank you very much for tuning in this episode number 13 of Planetfall. 
We tried some new things today, and I liked it, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to think, have to think, have to say about like the music and the time lapses and uh, the little skit at the start. I'm interested in your feedback, but, uh, but that's all I've got for today. So thank you for watching once again, and we'll see you next time. Stay dangerous.